Hi guys, welcome back. In this lesson number five, we would be discussing about the type of objectives that are available in a Facebook campaign, right? So last class we discussed about the structure. You first create an account. In the account, you create campaign, and then the ad set, and then the ad. At each level, you have different settings that are available for you. So if you want to serve your right ad to the right person, the right place, then you got to make sure that you remember what settings are available, which level. And it's not so complex, unlike Google Ads, you got to remember so many features at each level. But here it's very plain and simple, so we don't have to do too much of hard work to kind of remember all these uh, settings that are available. But I would recommend you, whatever I am teaching you, try and watch these videos maybe a couple of times so that you'll get with me because uh, what I'm teaching is very in-depth so probably if you don't understand if you're a fresher then I would recommend you to watch it at least two or three times before you move to other videos if you're experienced maybe you can just go with me and um, and in case you have any specific requirement that you want me to speak about or you want me to address and teach you about I can happily do that just comment in the section below in the YouTube right now so you have to understand about the type of campaigns that you can create Right. Every time you create a campaign, you have to select the objective. So this video is particularly for objectives. And I will give you a brief overview about what each objective deals with. Right. For that, what we do is this is the ads manager account. You might be aware. So what you have to do is from here, you click on create. When you click on create, you would be taken to the actual campaign page where you can create campaigns. So I click on create. Now you see this is the page where you can create campaigns right now I told you there are 11 objectives remember there are 11 objectives that Facebook allows you to choose from right these 11 objectives are again categorized into three parts the first one is called awareness stage second one is consideration third one is conversion now if you believe in funnels this is Facebook's funnel first one is awareness you reach a lot of people and then few people will come down to a place where you can really interact with your brand and then only few people will eventually buy so this is again a funnel of Facebook and, and 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 it is very important because Facebook also believes it's a it's a journey, right? You can't directly run a conversion campaign for that. You have to understand people should you know engage with your brand, and that will happen only when people identify your brand and remember your brand, or they, they kind of have a recall towards your brand. And that is why three steps: A, C, C, awareness, consideration, conversion. So let's talk about all the objects that are available in Facebook. The first one is brand awareness. Second one is reach. And brand awareness and reach they are available in the awareness uh, phase awareness part now what's the difference between the slight difference between brand awareness and reach right now if, if you're really interested you want to reach more read more about the funnel part then you can go start with universal purchase funnel we call it ada model ada awareness interest desire action if you want people to do the action then you want people to have the desire only people who have the desire you know will, will eventually buy so first is awareness interest once you create awareness what happens is people will kind of know your product and then they'll develop interest towards your product once they develop interest to your products they will eventually buy your uh, uh, develop a desire to buy your product and once people have desire to buy your product that's when they eventually purchase right that's that's one universal funnel so when it comes to the context of facebook again it is acc awareness then consideration and then conversion right in awareness phase, the two parts brand awareness and reach now when you talk about brand awareness remember brand awareness is done with the objective that you want to reach people with the intention that next time when they see your brand, they should at least be able to remember your brand. But unlike reach, unlike reach is also you know big. You know you want to reach large number of people, not with the intention that you want to sell the product, but you want people to remember your product. You want people to identify you. You want people to know that there's something called this. So brand awareness and reach is a campaign that you run when you want to introduce your product to large number of people. Right? People don't know your product, and you go to them and tell them hey I'm there in the product this is a new product that's coming to the market so to to introduce your brand to take your brand to those people in the first place right later everything will follow first people should identify your brand people should be able to connect to your brand or people should be able to recognize yes this, this is there right that will only happen when when people you know get to know about your product so if your idea is to first get your products before right people right get your brand before the right people so that they'll know your brand right so the first is you want to establish it that will only happen when you create the first type of campaign which is called brand awareness reach now both are same they're going to give you immense reach they're going to give you a lot of reach but the only little difference between brand awareness and reach now a lot of people think they both are same they're not same there's a slight difference brand awareness is done with the context or the with the intent that facebook kind of serves the ad 
when you when you select brand awareness, you're telling Facebook, Facebook, I want brand awareness. That means Facebook will run your ads to people with the intention that those people, when they see next time, they should at least be able to remember it. That means they should have a brand recall. That means you know the idea of the the brand recall, uh, you know, it has to be a little high, right? High brand recall, right? That's the objective of brand awareness. But still, you reach a lot of people. It's not you only reach some people. You reach a lot of people, but with the intention that next time when they see your product, they should be able to remember your product. That's what we call it as brand recall or ad recall, right? Second one is reach. Reach is not about ad recall. Reach is only about reaching the right uh, or a lot of eyeballs, right? They don't care about people remember you when they see you next time. No, it only wants to show ads to a lot of people. So it's like this. You want to show ads to a lot of people, I mean, not too many, too many, but there is an opportunity, there is a situation where you can show ads to one person more than one, two times or two, three times. But in reach, you not focus on brand you want reach you want your intention is a lot of people should see and that will only happen when one ad appears to one person only once right in case of brand awareness one person may see your ad two three times it's called frequency but in terms of uh, uh, reach what system does is they serve your ad but with the intention they only serve to one person because the intention is uh, one time then because the intention they want to show to a lot of people they want to cover a lot of audience a lot of eyeballs right so again depends on what your objective is now uh, after it is done then you come to a next phase which is called consideration where people kind of you know ready to engage with your brand try and comment like share you know at least see right so for that what you have to do is you have to go a little forward that's when consideration phase you have traffic traffic the object of the campaign is to make people see the ad click on the ad and come to your site if you want people to come to your site you run an ad on facebook the intention is people should see your ad click your ad and then come to your site and when you see the, when you select this objective, what Facebook will do is Facebook will run your ad to people who are more likely to click your ad and come to your website. Because Facebook knows the kind of behavior the people exhibit. So Facebook understands, hey, this guy is clicking four or five times. Maybe it's the right time to show ad because this guy is in the mindset that he can click and come to the advertiser site. And that's exactly what advertiser wants, right? So, you know, right, it's a real-time auction. Real-time, real-time, right? Facebook, you know, at the runtime runs the ad or serves the ad, right? So traffic. Second one is engagement. Engagement with the intention is that people should like, comment, and share. In engagement, again, you have three things. When you select engagement, when you select engagement, you come here at the bottom, you see three options. You see post engagement, you posted something on your page and you want people to engage with that post like post, comment, share, right? If you want people to you know, like your page, you want to build your audience, you want to build your community, then you can go with page likes. If you have an event and you want to run campaign so that people will know about your event that they can select, yes, I'm coming, not coming, right? So you can, so, so it depends on, it depends on what you want to achieve, right? That's when be very clear, write down as to what you want to achieve with the campaign so that you'll have clear ideas to this is what I'm expecting from these campaigns. I'm not generally running a campaign just for heck, right? Now, App Install. App Install campaign, the objective of App Install campaign is to make sure that people will click on your ad with the intention that they download your app. So the whole purpose, so if you're working with an advertiser who says, hey, I want more people to download my app, so you can run App Install campaigns, right? Now, next one is video views. Here, the objective is you want to run a video campaign with the objective that people will see your ad more number of times. You're, you're focusing on nurturing or capturing or getting or increasing more views for your business and this is the right way because that kind of you know you can tell a story about your brand and people know more about your products and services right you can you can you can you know you can show them the experience that people have right you can you can use the you know sound and the motion that stuff right it's particularly important when you want to establish your brand and, and try and introduce your brand in a way which is, you know, explaining them more about your brand side, right? That's exactly why video is more important. So you, you can definitely, you should definitely have a video campaign in your arsenal, in your marketing strategy. It is very, very important. Next one is leads. Question, I don't want people to come to my site. I don't want brand awareness. I'm running one campaign, which is brand awareness. I'm running one campaign, which is driving people to my website. But now my intention is I want I want people to click the ad and give their information to me so that I get a lead. Maybe I can call them. I can I can pass that information to my sales team. My sales team will get in touch with them and again, they establish a connect, right? So if you want to sell something which is expensive, people don't buy real estate. You know, people don't directly buy. So what you can do is you can collect their information information right phone number email address and many other stuff and for that what you do is you don't make people click on the ad and leave facebook and go mm -hmm. to your website mm -hmm. in the website they see your form no that's a too big process right rather than that you short circuit all of them you just make people click on the ad the, the moment they click on the ad they don't leave facebook in the facebook only a small pop-up will appear and there he can fill the form details and facebook gives you good options where they don't have to fill facebook pre-fills all they have to do is click on submit Messages. If you want to run your campaigns and show these campaigns ads in Messenger, so this is the campaign that you want to run, right? So this is one campaign which is uh, again very uh, important. 
right the third phase is conversion in conversion the objective is that you 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 you're telling facebook facebook no i don't want people to engage in, in like and share i want people who can really buy my product i'm focusing more on conversions right so that's when you create a campaign when you select campaign or campaign facebook will argue certain things ask you certain things that i'll talk about that means when you create a conversion campaign you have to specify facebook this is the conversion event i'm expecting facebook to deliver i want people to you know do this event that's when i will say it's a conversion right you can't just say i want conversions but you you don't tell facebook as to what is a conversion to you so first you have to define a conversion and select that as a conversion event so facebook knows this campaign's objective by advertiser is to run a campaign whose intention is to get more conversions and what type of conversion so you can choose a conversion event next one is catalog sales if you're into e-commerce you can upload your entire inventory into facebook catalog manager and you can run those ads so all the catalog that you have in facebook your inventory you invent you, you put your inventory in facebook using facebook catalog manager and that catalog that you have in facebook in fact your products you can run them by creating one campaign called catalog sales campaign and then again if you want people to physically come to your store then you can create this campaign right store traffic campaign so these are different objectives that are available in uh, the facebook so i would recommend you even before you start creating it I would appreciate if you can go read about what each of these uh, objectives generally talk about, right? Forget about the features, whatever type of ads that you get, but understand the 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 kind of algorithm, the kind of backend work that Facebook does when you select this objective. For example, if I select a campaign objective called traffic, and I can't say Facebook get me conversions because Facebook says, hey, that's not your objective. Your objective is to drive traffic. Right? If you wanted conversions, maybe you should have told me to 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 run conversion to, to run for conversions, and that will happen when you create conversion campaigns, right? So when you're selecting the objective, you are telling Facebook, hey, this is what I expect. And what Facebook do in the back end is they try and change their algorithm, or their algorithm works in such a way that will deliver ads in such a way that you will reach your goals, right? So you don't select a different objective and expect different results. That's why first write down your goals, right? What you want to achieve, and then go what fits or which is very close or what kind of objective that you can choose to achieve those close and then run your campaign and once you create a campaign we discussed you have to create the ad set you give certain instructions like the budget the audiences who the ad should be served where the ad should be served and what kind of ad should be served and finally the and how much you want to spend you know how many times you want to show the ad and then the final ad right they will they will be taught and these settings are common irrespective of whichever objective you choose but you have to be very very careful when you choose the main objective which is the campaign objective because facebook algorithm runs or serves your ad that means it will affect your ad delivery facebook delivers the ad to users keeping in mind or keeping in view the convert the objective that you selected for your campaign so it's very very important the first thing is first establish this get this straight and then you can create campaigns so next video i will create first campaign on brand awareness so i will take you through each of those settings each of those features that are available in facebook for somebody who want to run their first campaign thank you so much and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and remember we do this very extensively we go very very depth into facebook right we don't touch those normal things that are already taught we go into very very high-end you know e-commerce strategies using facebook you can you know views very high-end custom events right pass custom parameters segment the audiences segment the traffic you, you can do amazing stuff amazing stuff that uh, at times you don't even find uh, content on the internet in case you get any question right that's how you go into if you're interested to learn the real digital marketing the real way which you know all these big companies who have big spend you know invest their money into facebook and drive ROAS, then you can you can definitely check out our bootcamp our bootcamp is India's first 100% real-time digital marketing bootcamp, the most high-end digital marketing program in the country. You ask people what's the most complex thing in the world of digital marketing. People by default, they say it's enhanced e-commerce tracking. And enhanced e-commerce tracking, people with 10 years, 8 years of digital marketing experience also cannot imp implement. But in bootcamp, right, we begin our journey with those stuff. So you learn something which is very beyond that people with 10 years also cannot implement. And again, we are very selective. We don't take everybody into bootcamp. We want people who are problem solvers, out of the box thinkers, and we love people who are already experienced or who are already experienced in digital market or good experience. Because the kind of topic that we taught, teach is very high, very high end and very intensive. And we know not everybody can learn it. So if you're interested, you think you can really take advantage of this bootcamp to build your career, you can just enroll for this and we'd love to see you. Thank you so much. Subscribe to my channel. Share this video with anybody who you think will be benefited. And uh, if you have any questions, please post it in the comment section. I would love to answer them. I would create videos on them. Thank you. I would see you in the next video. Thank you.